Hi, my name is Clinton Crumpler, and I'm the founder and art director of the artist collective Decagon Studios. Throughout my career, I've been an artist at Microsoft's The Coalition, Bethesda Austin, Kixi, Army Game Studio, Midwinter Entertainment, and various other independent studios. My favorite projects to work on have been the Gears of War series, where I was a look development and environment artist. My primary focus is environment art, shader development, and art direction. I release multiple online video tutorials, educational articles, and web classes. In this six-week course, I'll take you through the tools in Unreal Engine 5 to prepare you for a career in game art development. We'll be using some familiar tools along the way, such as Marmoset, Substance Painter, Maya, Ryzen UVs, and more to help us to reach our creative goals. By the end of this course, you'll have the knowledge to create your own art content for Unreal Engine using some of the newer features such as Lumen and Nanite. During these six weeks, you'll work to create your own diorama art scene for your portfolio. We'll start by getting comfortable with the controls, tools, and UI in Unreal. Then we'll move to cover general good practices such as naming, grouping, project organization, and we'll also learn how to use Quixel Bridge to integrate pre-made Megascans content into our project. In the second week, we'll begin working on importing content into our project from external sources. We'll cover basic level setup, nanite creation, rules, and texture density. And of course, we'll cover the hows and whys of nanite. In week three, we'll start to UV our nanite assets using Rhizome to easily digest the larger poly counts that nanite assets have. We'll then bake our textures using both Marmoset and Substance Painter. Moving into week four, we'll work to understand how to use Substance Painter to texture our meshes in preparation for our final version in Unreal. Moving back into the engine, we'll then discuss creating materials in Unreal to support our imported textures to be applied to our scene. Unreal has an awesome visual material node system, so we'll take a deeper dive into understanding the nodes and how they work. Using this info, we'll set up a master material to suit the needs of your project and material types. After this, we'll also talk about the lighting types and the newest features of Unreal Engine 5, such as Lumen Lighting. There are some differences between Lumen and the older methods of lighting that we use in Unreal Engine 4. We'll cover how each might be used in our project and discuss options to understand the best workflow for lighting our diorama. Leading into our final week, we'll go over some closing thoughts and camera work to set up our shots to showcase your work. We'll then close out the class with a setup of our final renders, along with some methods for post-processing and color correcting our images to achieve our cinematic visual. We'll put what we've learned into practice with a targeted assignment for each week of the class. Through building your diorama, we'll work to understand Unreal Engine's tools and usage. This is a great opportunity to test your process and workflow and come up with questions you may have throughout. I'll provide each student with a recorded video feedback per assignment to help guide them through the steps to continue their learning process for the following week. Additionally, there'll be a live Q&A session each week for questions and additional demonstration to further your learning process. These sessions are also a great opportunity to talk about the industry, portfolios, and the changing trends of environment art. We'll also have an online forum to communicate with fellow classmates and myself. I've taken my passion for art and engine tech development and filled this course with the info to get you started in your journey to becoming an Unreal Engine based environment artist. Sign up to start creating your own world in Unreal Engine 5.